Bathhouse Confessions, XXL, 10-Book Gay Romance Bundle, written by Nathan Bay, narrated by Zachary Zaba. I grabbed hold of Gabriel's hand and led him toward the hall. Though I didn't know where I was going, it wasn't too hard to figure out. We'd been assigned to room number 16, the end unit. The room inside wasn't much bigger than a walk-in closet. A flimsy twin-sized mattress sat on top of a solid sheet of wood that was built into the wall. The bed was fitted with an off-white sheet. It looked clean, just a little ragged. The room smelled of antiseptic and a lingering aroma of sweat and sex. The door closed behind us with a click. At last, we were alone. A small screen was mounted in the top corner of the room, displaying a carousel of options on the screen. There was a remote directly under it, attached to the wall with a strip of Velcro. Anything you want to watch? Gabriel asked. Nah, I said, inching closer to him and running my hand up his arms. I want all your attention on me and what I'm about to do to you. I leaned in and kissed him slowly. The perfect kiss. Warm, soft, and just the right amount of wet. As we kissed some more, I slid his pants down to his thighs. He widened his stance, letting his jeans fall to his ankles. Then, I ran my fingertips down his spine. He wiggled and squirmed as goosebumps broke out all over his skin. I kept exploring, running my hand skillfully down the path. He bent over to pull off his canvas shoes, pulled his jeans off, and tossed both into a pile beside the bed. Then he crossed his arms and lifted his shirt up from his toned torso, pulled it over his firm chest, exposing his hairy armpits, and took the shirt over his head slowly. He was putting on a show for me, giving me a good, long look at the goods. I enjoyed watching the reveal. His skin was pale, not surprising for a ginger, but it gave his top body a glowing quality as if he were made of smooth porcelain. Only a small trail of hair and wispy swirls grew between his two pecs. Okay, on the bed, I instructed. He smirked, but followed my lead, crawling onto the thin mattress to rest on his belly. Like this? He asked with a playful wiggle of his delectable-looking ass. Nope, I want a view of the total package. This was my favorite view of a man. He was so open and accessible to me. That's perfect. Peeking over his shoulder, he said, Aren't you getting undressed too? Later. Right now, I just want to focus on your beautiful body. His cheeks flushed pink. He turned his head to nestle it in the pillow. Thanks. So, what should I be doing? Nothing. Just lie there, quietly. I took a seat next to him on the bed and drank in the sight of his body, starting with his feet. They were smooth and well-maintained, no calluses or ragged-looking toenails. Gabriel was a guy who took care of himself. I liked that. I ran my fingertips along his ankle, up his calf to the back of his thigh. He squirmed just a little. Then I took both hands and massaged his butt cheeks with a slow but firm grip. They were two solid sheets of muscle, and I was kneading them like dough. Gabriel's body loosened beneath my touch. His eyes were closed, his mouth fixed in a half-smile. He looked like he was enjoying the attention. Does that feel good? I whispered. Mm hmm He moaned. My thumbs wandered closer to the center of his bottom, tracing wide circles. With each trip around his flesh, I inched deeper down. Gabriel gasped ever so slightly, and I felt him quiver in response. You're so tight, I observed. I guess I'm going to have to loosen you up. Have at it, Gabriel said. My body is all yours tonight. Hearing those words sent a jolt through my core. I didn't know anything about this guy, but something about him made me want to give him pleasure like he'd never felt before. He seemed like he deserved it. I rubbed my hands together, heating them up, and slipped off the bed onto my knees so I could get a good angle.